This week, moms, I might not be there. As you know, my mother is dying. She's not gonna get better. She's not gonna be cured. Right now, what the hospice care tries to do is to make her comfortable. Can I say something? I just wanna tell you that thank you so much for letting me be such a part of your mom's life. These past couple of years, your mom, like I told her today, she looked right in my eyes and I said, you know, mom, you are my mom now because my mom left me so long ago. I love her so much. I love you. There's something that's better. But she's gonna be, she's gonna be so much better, you know? I love her so much. There are good dance teachers and there are bad dance teachers. But every dance teacher has to love children. They would never do this job. There are a million other jobs that you could do besides this. even at her age, still has people working in the entertainment industry. You never know where it's gonna stop and you never know what you're gonna end up doing. This career could take you onward and upward to a million different things. And that's why I believe that every child should dance, okay? All right. It's competition day today, and Abby's not on the bus, which we normally have her here, but we're thinking about her because she's with her mom, and that's where she needs to be. You guys, number 13. Oh, lucky, lucky. I don't know, Abby's really superstitious about it, and I, I can't believe she's not here. But she is where she needs to yes. be. She is with her mother. We all will do what we need to do, and also to make Abby proud, and maybe just a nod of Abby and Mrs. Miller, we take a moment of silence on the bus ride before we actually get to our destination, just to think about some positive and happy memories of Mrs. Miller. Because to be honest with you, you are her living legacy. Any Mrs. Miller stories or memories anyone wants to share? I remember the first time I met Mrs. Miller, she had her bright blue shirt on with the French twist in and a big flower. <laughs> her eyes were so blue. I remember one time when we were at a competition, I came off stage from doing my solo, and she came over and she gave me a hug, and she said um, that I've grown up so much and I'm becoming a, an amazing dancer. She's a nice lady. Aw. Yep. You see, now, now that's nice that we have all these happy memories. I love these Mrs. Miller stories, and I hope we continue to remember Mrs. Miller the way that we, we, we grew up with her, or right. we've seen her. So we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Mrs. Miller. Nope. You're right. You're right. Yeah. So let's go by our heads just for a moment, just to reflect and think about Mrs. Miller. It's OK, Maddie. It's OK to cry. It's OK to feel all the emotions. That's good. It's OK to have each other. I'm going to miss her. When you girls go on stage today, and every time after this, Mrs. Miller is the reason that you're on stage, and the reason that you're performing, and the reason that you guys are so good. She is behind it all. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for bringing us all here today. But most importantly, we are also thankful for allowing Mrs. Miller to be a part of our lives, and that her legacy will continue to live on in each and every one of us, because she has touched us. And please anoint each girl that they will do a phenomenal job on stage and bring home a 13th victory for the team. Amen. 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 All right. Amen.